Hey everyone, welcome to Jason Explains Things. I've got a fun automotive and home themed video for you today. So it has been the hottest summer ever in recorded history here in central Washington. We had temperatures up to 113 degrees. Everything around my, around my house is just feeling oppressed by the sun. The grass is having a bit of a hard time. Some of my plants are having a bit of a hard time. And my poor, I, I would call it a classic, uh, Dodge truck is having a hard time too. I mean, I actually just washed the truck yesterday and oh man, like the paint is coming off the roof. The paint is starting to fade on the, on the hood. It's just, it breaks my heart because it's such a pretty truck. There is nothing in the world I want more right now than a carport. I actually have a full-size carport build plan for later this year. I'm kind of vetting contractors right now, trying to get somebody on the books. I need to get this truck under some uh, shade immediately. So I have picked up this giant box <laughs> it just showed up in the mail. It is a portable carport I ordered from Amazon. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a full assembly and review of the, uh, the build quality and everything of the carport. And I'm gonna see how well it works full of, for a full-size long bed pickup truck like my Dodge. Let's take a closer look at what I picked up. Oh man, it's hot. <laughs> It's not, it's not acting or anything, and it's, it is really hot. Anyway, uh, this is the carport. First question, why is it in such a horribly messy, bad looking box? <laughs> well, this is from Amazon, but it's an Amazon warehouse thing, so I assume this was something somebody returned. Uh, and now I'm buying it at a slight discount, so hopefully it worked out okay. This is Abbott Patio is the brand name. Uh, very nicely uh, reviewed, had some nice happy pictures of it being used at a wedding, actually, which is kind of funny. The measurements are, it's 10 feet wide by 20 feet long so it's going to be perfectly wide enough for my truck but it might not be quite long enough to park the entire thing under shelter but should everything work out today i will have a link for this exact carport in the description below so you can get one yourself if it's exactly what you're looking for i mean shop around compare uh, i actually wanted to go to harbor freight and just get a get one from there but uh, my harbor freight does not have any carports available because of shortages of everything these days so anyway let's get this thing open and get the truck out of the way and get to work. Gorilla carts, they're good for everything. <laughs> hey, so pleasant surprise. Uh, looking at everything in here, it looks like it's definitely not been opened and then put back. This has probably never been used, so that's good. <laughs> yep, it's readable, it'll be all right. Okay, we are all ready to get started. Uh, we waited a little bit for it to cool off, which it didn't. Uh, also, I think you can probably get away with doing this by yourself, but I highly recommend getting your friend Chris to come help. So, so everyone just it's me. just contact him if you uh, you know you need a second person. He'll 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 answer. Probably the most complicated part is going to be uh, staking things to the ground, and we'll go over that in a little bit because I had to modify things a smidge. Other than that, let's get started. All right, everybody, are you paying attention? This is really complicated. We've got a D, an A, a D, an A, and a D. This is gonna be the front. It's hard to see anything. Those are good, good instructions. <laughs> nice, well, we got the front all assembled. Let's do the back, and then we'll do the middle. A, D, A. All right, so we gotta do the middle piece, which is uh, two A's and three E's. All right, now we just need to put our uh, B1s and B2s together on each uh, corner. In your blood. Okay, well with uh, everything laid out, now what we have to do is just put our side pieces together and then I'll get Chris's help to lift everything up. Pretty much everything up to now could be done solo, but now having a buddy is a good thing. Looks pretty good to me. Putting the cover on is also a two-man job. Teamwork makes the dream work on all six legs is you got this little end right here and you try to put it down into these slots and I'm trying to go as far as possible. And then we have a bunch of little bungees to put along the edges for, uh, for wind. Anyway, we gotta attach the feet. So there's a bit of an issue and this is, I brought this up earlier. So these are the stakes that came with the kit. These are like these kind of pathetic small tent stakes. I don't think we're gonna wanna use these. So, so what I bought, our 10 inch galvanized common stakes I got at Lowe's. Each of these feet didn't have a big enough hole for the stake to pass through. And I drilled out each of these and then I repainted them each brown so that uh, this would work. 
really a uh, good modification that I highly recommend and they attach to the legs with some 13 millimeter uh, nuts and bolts. It's a carport! It's a carport, Chris! What? Woo! I live near a beer's busy road. <laughs> anyway, it's a carport. I am actually pretty impressed. That was a really easy, especially with Chris's help. I'd say about an hour even while shooting a video, probably less than half that. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, pull the Dodge in and call it a day. is under a shelter of some sort. Woohoo! <laughs> the breeze is already moving this thing around a little bit. But other than that, that's it. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more awesome videos coming soon about trucks, the old Dodge, new trucks, some home improvement stuff, lawn stuff, all that. Uh, until next time everybody, God bless, and don't forget to do it yourself. <laughs>